So everything seemed okay. There were lots of students. Um, everything was going well. But also around the same time, we're about 1980 now, um, this is really where the price trends in higher education started to go funny. Um, we moved into a national market. We had college rankings. It was easier for people to move around. Um, colleges really started competing with one another intensely. And, and really, that was the point where we were done building the higher education system that we have today. Uh, so the, the one thing I should, of course, add in my narrative is the rise of the community college system. We basically built one new co community college a week open in the United States on average throughout the entire decade of the 1960s. That's how fast we were kind of building community colleges to accommodate people to the point that we have about a thousand of them today. But then we were done. And it's an odd kind of fact that uh, the typical American college student today is being educated by an organization that has existed for a long, long time. And that's probably not true about any other organization with which um, he or she has kind of an important relationship, other than perhaps their public school. So we were, we were done. We had built the system we have, and all the colleges had left to do was compete with one another um, over all of this money that was coming in, and all of these students were coming in, and increasingly, at the high end, compete on status. Um, and so a lot of, at the upper echelons, a lot of institutions ended up in a kind of positional status competition. Doesn't really matter how high you are, you just want to be higher than someone else. Um, and this was also around the same time that um, our state governments decided to um, enact a series of kind of broad changes in the way they thought about their obligations, which mostly can be summed up as never raise taxes, build a lot more prisons, um, and spend more and more money to accommodate the cost of healthcare for an aging population. Um, and as we all know, over time, colleges got squeezed by that. They were very popular. They would do well when times were good, but every time there was a recession, the universities would take it on the chin. Um, so the universities were kind of somewhat heedlessly becoming more expensive over time because they had this captive market of students, and more and more people wanted what only universities and colleges could provide, which was the, the one credential that would get you a job, um, at the very same time that states were kind of pulling their money back. And so college got more and more and more and more expensive. And that is now the dominant narrative of American higher education. Go out on the street, talk to an average person, and the thing that they know more than anything else about colleges is that it might bankrupt them. 